I wanted to talk about this, the micron gauge. We know that we're supposed to pull a vacuum down to 500 microns when we have opened up a system. We're also supposed to, we're also supposed to replace the dryers, put a new dryer in every time you open up a system. And we need to pull a vacuum so that we can recover all of the, all of the uh, air and non-condensables that's in the system. Not recover, but we can get rid of all of the air and non-condensables that's in the system. We're gonna pump that outside of the unit, out into the air because it's air and non-condensables, and that's okay to do. We know that we have to recover the refrigerant, put it into a recovery bottle. But when we pull a vacuum, we evacuate, we pull to 500 microns. Why? Why 500 microns? First, that is the level that the manufacturers have said that we need to do. But the main reason is because we need to boil everything that's out of there. Now first, let's talk about water. We know that if we happen to have, let's say, a pot of water, and <clears throat> we have water sitting in here, it's just full of water, and we put a flame underneath. Let's say that we have four flames here. The temperature of this is gonna to start to go up. The temperature will go up until we get it up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, or some people say 100 degrees Celsius, whichever. The point is that the water is going to start to boil, and this water is gonna turn into a vapor until the level drops, level drops, level drops, and then there's no more water in there. My question is, why does it boil at that temperature? It boils at that temperature because of the pressure that's pushing down on the water. We have atmospheric pressure. This atmospheric pressure is coming from the air. We have, we have let's say, the earth here, and there's going to be air up on top the weight of this air is going to be pushing down on that pot of water. Well, the pressure that's going to be pushing down is going to be what they call 14.7. It's going to be 14.7. That's how much that column weighs, but that is per square inch. That means that if we take one square inch and we lay it down at the beach, that column that's gonna be all the way up into space is gonna weigh that 14.7 pounds. This is what they call PSIA, pounds per square inch absolute. Now, if we move to a place that's higher, let's say, for example, Denver, Colorado, now we have that pot of water right there. That pot of water is not gonna boil at 212. Now that pot of water is going to boil at approximately 203 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature is going to be lower. Why is that? Well, that's because we don't have that much pressure. The pressure is less. As we heat this water up, what we're doing is put, we're putting energy into the water because heat is energy. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So as we add heat to this, the molecules, what they're going to be doing is that they're going to be vibrating. These molecules are vibrating. As they vibrate, the more energy they have, the more they're gonna vibrate. And that way they're going to be able to break away from each other. As they break away from each other, now we have this water vapor that's being developed. So this water is being turned into steam once it reaches a certain level and we're in Denver, Colorado, there's less pressure. Now we only need this much energy to get the molecules to break away from each other. If we are at sea level, we're going to need that much energy to get the molecules to break away from each other. So when we're pulling a vacuum in a system, we're removing the pressure that's in the system. As we remove the pressure, if there's any moisture in there, the temperature that it's going to boil at is going to be lower and lower and lower. 
we pull down to about 500 microns because now the water is going to be boiling in the system. If there's water in the system, it's going to boil right around zero degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to be boiling at that temperature. So now if we are pulling down very low, the boiling temperature is going to be low. And because of that, now we can actually turn, get rid of that vapor, pull it out of the system. Remember, a vacuum pump is not going to remove liquid and it's not going to remove any solids. It's not going to remove any dirt or acid that may be in the system. A vacuum pump is only going to remove the air, non-condensables, the vapors that are in the system. So if we have moisture in the system, we have water in the system, the pressure is going to drop, that water is going to turn into a vapor, and we're going to suck it out of there and pump it outside. The only thing we need to, the only thing we pump outside is going to be the air and the moisture that's in the system. Remember, if there's refrigerant in the system, you have to recover it, put it into a recovery bottle. But that is an explanation as to why we need to pull a vacuum so that we can lower the boiling temperature and that water is going to be boiling at a low temperature. Once it boils, we turn it into a vapor and we suck the vapor out of there. Hopefully that explains as to why we need to pull a vacuum. Again, my name is Julio, I'm Aircon Academy. Check out my videos, like the videos, and check out on uh, YouTube. Thank you.